All right, today we're talking about the logical nullish assignment operator, and that is the double question mark. And actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here to uh, make this easier for you to follow along and see. All right, so I have a series of variables here with different values. String, number, null, undefined, empty string, false, zero, not a number. All of these values have a truthy or falsy value about them. And when you're using logical short circuiting with the two pipe characters, the logical or operator, then really we're determining whether something's truthy or falsy. Logical nullish. So nullish means null or undefined. So just to show you how this operator will work, if we're wanting to write out the value here, if I say A and then the nullish assignment operator, followed by an empty string. When I run this, there we go. So this expression right here takes a look at the variable a and says, if this is null or undefined, give me this value. If it's not specifically null or undefined, you get this, the empty string. So we have, sorry, if it's not specifically null or undefined, then you get the actual value that comes before the operator. So Guilfoy, that was the string that I had right here. So that's the one that we get. Works the same way for other values as well. So B, we've got a number. It is not null or undefined. So when we run this, we get the value of B. What if we try it the other way? So if I take C, we should see this string right here. And I'll repeat this for D as well, just to save a little bit of time going through these. There we go. So we get this alternate value here, C is, null, C is nullish, D is nullish, because C and D were null and undefined. We can go down, looking at the other ones, um, D and E, oh, sorry, C and D are the null and undefined. E is false, or falsey, an empty string is falsey. This is falsey, this is falsey, this is falsey. Falsy. So if I were to used the logical short circuiting and said C or D or E or F. So I'm going through all of these values here. Every one of the strings like this, when I run it, I get this thing because all of these things, Null, undefined, empty string, false, zero, not a number. Those are all falsy values. So we're going to end up with this. However, if we do this with the nullish assignment, basically what we're doing is we're saying that anything except for null and undefined, we're going to consider to be valid values to have inside of our variable. So there we go. At the end, this blank is actually this, this E, the empty string. It looked at this and said, nope, I can't use that, it's null. I can't use this, it's undefined. So here, an empty string, yeah, okay, we can output that. So I'm outputting the empty string. If I removed the E, running this again, there it is, now we get the false. So we remove the empty string, we're now into false. If I remove the false, we get up to the zero. That will also render, there's the zero. If we get rid of the zero from this combination. There we go, we get the not a number for H. So it's gonna give us whatever comes through. There we go. So we have it here. So we can chain them together, which can be very useful if you've got a bunch of values sort of in descending order of which one you want to use inside your code. As long as it's not null and undefined, give me the first thing from this list. That's what we have uh, 
here because null and undefined really those are the values that indicate to us okay there's nothing been put into the variable yet or we've intentionally put null meaning there is absolutely nothing inside this variable if it's anything else we will consider it to have a value and that's really where this comes from this nullish assignment operator right here all right hope that helps you out if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and as always Thanks for watching.